Hey, what's up guys, it's Rev, and I posted that character creation guide yesterday, and I saw a lot of people talking about autodidact, or autodidact, whatever you want to call it, and people, a lot of people are defending it, trying to say why it's good, or why it's this, or why it's that, and I just wanted to make a quick video, or maybe a longer one, I don't know how long this is going to take, I'm doing this before work, um, I just wanted to make a video, uh, explain to you guys why I think autodidact is bad in more detail, and that's why I busted out the Microsoft Paint. So... The first thing we need to understand um, is uh, to understand like how um, uh, why autodidact is bad is to explain how uh, the stat system or the investment point system works anyways. So, or how XP in general works anyways. So let's say um, let's let's start off talking about this. So let's say to get a wep uh, like a medium weapon up, right? Let's say you're using a medium weapon, and to get a medium weapon up, you need like say 100 uh, medium weapon XP. Now, obviously. Uh, it's not a hundred. This is just a figurative number, but it's obviously not a hundred. So you start off with zero out of a hundred weapon XP, right? And uh, the maximum you can get in this power. So let's say you're power one and you're going to power two is five hundred, obviously. And this isn't exact numbers either. It might scale up as well. So this might actually be like seven hundred fifty or something like that. But you also have zero out of five hundred too. Uh, as the total amount of XP you can basically acquire this power and all the xp you get after 500 is either greatly reduced or non-existent from what i found so once you power up all this xp is basically gone all right so let's say you hit uh, a guard uh 10 times or not a guard but let's say you hit anything 10 times with your medium weapon that's one weapon up right so now your weapon will either be ready to your medium weapon will either be ready to level up or um, if you have a weapon manual, it will level up automatically. That's what the up arrow means. When you use any training tool and like prime a stat to level up, it'll have an up arrow next to it that's shaded gray, right? And that means it's ready to level up. So what that means is the second you hit 100 for your next level, instantly it resets back to zero and it goes and it levels you up once, right? If you don't have it set and primed to level up, then it will hit 100 and it will go further past 100 to say 200, 300. And then if it's at 300 out of, then it'll also be 300 out of 500, right? And then if you use your weapon manual three times, sorry, um, if you use your weapon manual three times, then it'll level up three times, right? So that's just how that works. And so if you have five investment points, it'll take three of them and then you'll have two investment points instead of five, right? That's how that works. So that's basically how it works for all stats as well. So strength, for example, let's say you get strength from like parrying, like a like parrying things like a golem, right? You do get you get like a lot of strength from parrying a golem. Okay. So you parry a golem and it goes up to a hundred, right? It's the same thing. You parry a golem five times, it goes up to five hundred, right? And then if you use it, if you use a dumbbell five times with five investment points, then you'll go up five. It'll go up five. Uh, what's it called? Like skill uh, attribute points into strength. And then you will power up. But there's also, besides like these like stat uh, experience, I guess, like like strength, weapon manual, agility, all that stuff, there's also a hidden like event XP, all right? Now event XP, and I'm not entirely sure which one is the white XP and which one is like the orange XP from the particles you get, but I'm pretty sure event XP is the white XP. I'm not positive though, so don't even like count me like as 100% on that. But event XP usually... Um, you get it from, like, killing anything or, like, any event and stuff. You get a lot from, like, uh, Mudskipper events, Bandit Camps, or, like, you know, stuff like that. It's it's what, it's the, basically the general XP you use to level up in the game. And let's say you have, uh, you get 100 of that, and that's what levels you up, right? Now, what I've noticed is, like, everything pre, like, level 30 and, like, pre-45, getting event XP is very easy. Okay. So, like, you can invest five stat points without doing a single quest as power one, and I'm pretty sure you'll level up, because you don't even have, like, it's like, it's like one XP, it's not even a hundred, it's like one. Like, <laughs> it's insane. So, if you're just doing regular bandit stuff, then you will have, then you, you'll, you'll get event XP, and you'll have plenty of event XP to level up. Which is why there's this misconception that when you use autodidact, it's like free level ups. It's like, People will think that if you save autodidact up to power 50, then you get free power 10, like free power 60, which is not true. You still need the event XP. And at power 45, it gets much more difficult to level up than it was at power 30 or power 15, right? 
So it gets much, much harder. Power 30 is a drop-off, but there's still, like, pretty easy farming points. Power 45 is a much bigger drop-off, and there's, like, it's kind of hard to, or not hard, but harder to level up at 45, especially when you don't have things like, uh, uh, things like, uh, Adept. Adept is a really, really good, like, must-have legendary talent. If you guys roll Adept, take it every single time. But, I think, somebody said in my comments yesterday that Maverick levels up your weapon, or, like, your skill XP. The, like, medium weapon strength and all that jazz. And, uh, that makes sense. So, Maverick might do that, but that's basically just as useless as Autodidact, or Autodidact. Um, because, and I'm gonna go, now I'm gonna go into why... Leveling up your weapon XP is completely useless, especially in the levels that actually take time. Because your powers 1 through 30 should not take you any longer than like 3 to three to 4 hours. So if you want to shorten that 3 to 4, basically what I'm saying is Autodidact and Maverick are only good for shortening the 3 to 4 hours for your power to 30, or your power to 45. It should only take longer than this number. I, I don't, don't even know if you guys can see that. Um, oh, you can. Okay. Um, the only reason it should take longer than 3-4 to four hours is if you're going a very specific build that takes longer to level up things like attunement lists or like element lists, which usually goes faster, okay? So, now let's kind of go into like the reasons why I think that leveling up your event XP is um, just uh, like objectively worse, basically. And I've got to do like a bit of a... Uh, is this even worth like erasing? I'll just make a new one. Alright, so, now let's go into why... Leveling up your event XP is really useless. Is because it's really easy to level up almost every stat. Like leveling up strength is super easy. Leveling up like agility is super easy. You just move around. The only thing, the only problem with this is that you have to have the training equipment for it, and that's fine because it only costs twenty five notes. So that's just super easy to get. Um, will like a strength, agility, uh, I don't know, willpower, really easy to get. Like honestly, they're all really really easy to get. So, uh, like, to get the XP for it. So, like, medium weapon is just hitting things, right? And that's that's uh, that's how you get XP for it. You just hit things with your weapon. Strength is really, really easy to get. There's lots of sources. Agility, really easy. Willpower, really easy. Charisma, really, really easy. Intelligence, really, really easy. It, it just happens. You get these things by just playing the game, usually. And, I'm uh, like, completing events usually gives you XP towards, like... I don't know if it gives you XP towards whatever you have primed with the up arrow... Or if it just gives you XP towards all your stats or something. But I know events do give you XP towards um, everything as well. So let's say you're leveling up willpower and you have like used prayer beads already. And you don't want to sit there and obviously nobody sit, literally nobody sits there and AFKs with prayer beads. It's literally so troll. AFK with prayer beads is not a good idea. It's like, it gives you like, it's like only if you like go AFK from the keyboard on a ship while your friend's driving or something, you know. But if you like used your prayer beads, primed it like, primed it to level up, and then you go and do a Mudskipper, like, the Mudskipper event on Aresia, then your willpower has a pretty good chance of leveling up, and you guys will notice that as well. And what did you do for that? Literally nothing. You just completed a Mudskipper event, and your willpower went up. So that's how I know that. Okay? So, with all of that to our knowledge, and knowing that that's how the, the how leveling up works, that's how all of that stuff works, um... We could talk about why Autodidact is one of the worst boons in the game. And the reason being is, this is what Autodidact does. Now, obviously, it's a boon. It's not going to do anything bad for you. It's not trolling you, you know. it's It, it has its uses and perks. Like, you having it isn't the end of the world. Like, it, you shouldn't wipe your character because you have this boon. But what I'm saying is... I should make this a little bit bigger. What I'm saying is... Or maybe not that big, but... Like... Having it is not as beneficial as having some other things that will permanently impact your progression forever. So Autodidact, what it does is it gives you one stat point for every one power, right? Which means you have a maximum of 60 stat points from going Autodidact. And that's just, that's just the facts, okay? That's just, what, that's just true, alright? So, that's what it is. And if you use, if you save up five of these, uh, I power six, right? And now you, I don't know if you get, I don't think you get one on power one, but if you have, well, I guess technically you get 59, you get 59 total, right? Because it's... You or no, you do get sixty because every time you level up. Actually, I'm not sure. I think it's fifty nine. I'm not I'm not entirely positive, but uh, let's say you have six, uh, five of them saved up at level six, right? You you've you powered up five times, and now you have or and now you have five autodidact points to invest into. Now I'm not sure if a drag gives you another point. Somebody in my chat in my comments said that, and I will test it later today, but 
I don't think a dread gives you another point, but if it does, let me know. If you get two points with auto, with autodidact on a dread every level, then it might be like a little bit better. But I'm pretty sure a dreads can just like put the points in anywhere without having to be at a campfire. I think that's what their passive does. But anyways, without talking about dreads at all, well, I'll, let's say you have five. Now you can invest those five points. Oh, that's an S. If you invest those five points into your stats immediately, and this is why people think it's good, is then you'll go from power six straight to power seven. And so what, pe what people think when they see that is that, oh, now if I do that same thing on power 45, I'll go straight to power 46, which is not true. You won't, because on power 45, you need significantly more event XP than you will ever need at power six or seven. Odds are at power six, you have an overabundant amount of event XP. You can probably like level up straight to like level 12, 13, 14, 15 without doing any events past level 6. That's how fast you level up with events in that. And that's why people think autodidact is good. When in reality, if they just leveled up their actual stats and spent notes on getting training equipment, they could do it just as fast by clicking once with a dumbbell or clicking once with a weapon manual or clicking once with prayer beads. Like, that's all That's all the difference is, is clicking once and having getting the uh, skill point uh, XP. Right, so this is what autodidact does. Um, if you have, if you have, like, I don't, and I'm not entirely positive on this. I'm pretty sure, if you have five points on forty on power forty five, then you can invest five times, and you will you will have zero investment points afterwards. You'll have zero investment points, but you won't hit power forty six, and the reason is because you don't have the event XP. And I'm sorry, I'm drawing all this with my mouse because I'm doing this before work, like I said, but. And the reason is because you don't have the event XP yet. So, um, and you will hit 46 at the exact same time with or without autodidact because you need to get this event XP first. And the, the thing is, the leveling at that point is so slow that you will 100% have the ability to level up any stat you want, basically, at that point. There's the, the odds that you won't have the amount of uh, stat and XP for each and every stat to level up at that point is very very low and if you don't it's very very easy to get it because the stat like scaling doesn't go up by very much so that's what i'm saying is that's why i think it's not that good is because it only impacts like the first three to four hours of a progression to power like 30 ish and honestly like i'm saying this um but a lot of you guys are really new to the game so it might take you a bit longer to get to power 30 um which is fine uh but once you get the hang of it, once you get that point of the game, then getting to power 30 won't be a very, very big issue for you, even if you're playing solo. Because I play solo, and it takes me three to four hours, right? It doesn't take me very long to hit power 30 playing solo by myself. Oh, my headset, headset just fell off because both of the headphones are broken. I need to buy a new one today. But anyways, it shouldn't take you past this. And the only time it really affects your progression is from like these lower levels where you can instantly level up. And even then, it doesn't level up that much. That's why I said it's only good for literal speedrunning is because it only affects those first like few hours of progression. It doesn't affect much after that. Same thing with Maverick. Maverick uh, makes you level up your like skill XP faster. If it does event XP, um, and that guy in my chat was in my comments was wrong, then that's fine, but it still doesn't do anything good. Like, it, you still don't level very much faster. Like, I didn't level up twice as fast or anything. It felt like the exact same stuff. So, there's that. I mean, I can test it later on stream. We might do some tests later today on stream after I get home from work to see if it's like five hits with a medium weapon instead of ten to hit power, uh, to hit medium weapon one. But, I mean, obviously we can just test that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not what Maverick does, actually, considering that it's supposed to be for events, and you're supposed to solo whole events and get XP. I'm not entirely sure. But we can test that later today. But that's not what this video is about. It's about why autodidact is bad. And so the reason why that's bad compared to other boons is because Marauder... That's, so the, the, the boons I like, right, is Marauder, um, Gourmet, and uh, Survivalist. So Survivalist is always really good because it impacts your run no matter what. You And it will always impact your character. At level 60, you will not take damage from, from, from Acid Rain. At level 1, you won't take damage from Acid Rain. You will take reduced damage from all current environmental effects and all potential future environmental effects that get added to the game. Or at least resistant towards them, right? And throughout your whole progression, level 1 through 60, this will always be relevant. And you will always be noticing it. While your friends are suffering burning in the rain, you won't be. 
That's why survivalist is so good. Is because you have that um, that resilience. And so, in fact, survivalist is so good that I don't know if it currently is, but it used to be at least a talent on an armor, like an adept armor, a power fifteen armor, um, for the pathfinder armor. And it used to make them do the exact same thing. That's how strong it is. It's literally as strong as a full armor talent. So that's why Survivalist is really good. It impacts your whole run. It impacts you even after you progressed all the way. Gourmet, same thing. You will always get food from Gourmet. And I'm not sure how strong it is, but just that what it does. And I'm not sure, like, you know, like, I don't know how much of a benefit it actually gives you. But having it is will impact you no matter what level you are. From 1 all the way to power 60, you will always be impacted by Gourmet. No, like no matter what marauder the reason i think it's good is because it impacts you greatly on your way to 60 by getting way better talents right because you get every grip gives you more luck which gives you more more better talents which gives you a much better build so when you're at power 60 you have a much better build to go with now that's kind of like the best way i can explain why those three are the best and then why maverick and auto are bad is because they usually only pro only affect the first, uh, the first little bit of your progression, the first like thirty levels, if even that, is, and they don't, they go like maybe one through thirty, and then you will never, ever use these again. So your power sixty character could have one of these. It could have better talents. It could have, uh, you know, survivalist or gourmet, but it won't. It'll have just two useless boons that will never ever do anything for you again, and. Uh, on top of that, Marauder, I think this, the reason I think Gourmet and Survivalist are better than Marauder is because even with Marauder, you could just kill an extra person and get more luck from an extra person instead of getting more luck from each and every grip. But, like, as far as, like, as far as how good they are, Gourmet and Survivalist are much, are really, really good. Marauder is better than Maverick and Autodidact, and these two are just literally noob. Like, Mara Maverick and uh, Autodidact are literally just noob. That's all there is to it. They don't give you. It doesn't give you event XP. It doesn't do anything. It takes just as long. It, the only reason you would ever use it is if you're bad at leveling. And as people get better, they'll start to realize that. Especially as like solo players will start to realize like, hey, I don't need this to level up. Um, I've heard people start saying like that they use it so they don't have to go depths. But once you learn how to get out of the depths, that's literally not a problem anyways. Like you could just leave the depths like willy nilly. So, yeah, that's basically it. That's why Maverick and Autodidact are like the worst boons in the game, or, yeah, the worst boons in the game right now. I strongly don't suggest you take them. I know there was a lot of controversy in my last video about it. That's why I decided to make this whole video talking about how it's, like, or my reasoning behind why it's so bad. And I kind of had, I did have to go into, like, pretty big detail to explain all of it to you guys. But I do hope that it does, like, shed some light on it or, like, you know, like, let people know why Autodidact and Maverick are so troll. Um, I don't know why people are suggesting it to people. I don't know why they think it's so good. Um, who knows? Maybe I'm just completely wrong. Maybe there's something I don't know about. Let me know in the comments. I know you guys did inform me on a bunch of things yesterday about things like the Lumber Axe and Etris. I will be doing a video soon about Etris versus Vigil Isle, as long as a lot of other videos. So stay tuned for those. If you guys enjoy my videos, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Join my Discord, watch my Twitch streams, all that jazz. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for watching my videos, and peace.